Hello, beloved saints and sons and daughters of the Almighty. I'm just uh, reaching out today. I just wanted to ask you a question. Um, if you had the uh, capability of stopping what Hitler was doing in uh, World War II when he was killing all those innocent people, um, would you stop it? If you had the capability, of course you would, right? Of course you would. Um, now, did you know that when uh, the Twin Towers happened, 3,000 people died. It was horrible. Innocent lives were killed. And uh, this was terrible. The whole world came together. The whole America came together. And we mourned. And... and you know, we uh, were very saddened by this, but we all worked together and we all, you know, came together as a family and, and, and just, you know, helped out the people's family. And well, we have a silent genocide going on in America and lots of the world. And that genocide is abortion. Did you know 1,700 people, babies are killed every day? In America, 1,700. So in two days, the same amount of people that died in the Twin Towers is happening in America. This is genocide. This is genocide. This is killing children, innocent children. Yeah, it's one of the six things that Yahweh hates. Yahweh hates the shedding of innocent blood. And um, so... It's our job to actually not stand, it says in Leviticus, not to stand idly by while they're shedding innocent blood. I think it's Leviticus 19. Do not stand idly by. And we are not to be a coward, but to stand up for the less fortunate and to, to uh, fight for their rights. They have rights to live. They have a right to life just like we all do. So we are commanded in order to, um, to to stand up for the innocent. And there's an old saying, it says, uh, if you are not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. So most Christians today frown upon abortion, but they don't do anything to try to stop it. They just, you know, kind of ignore it. And that's not what we're called to do. We're called to stop injustice. To uh, to do things to to um, to to stop. It. <clears throat> Did you know the number one cause of death for African Americans is Planned Parenthood and abortion? Did you know the number one cause of death for African Americans is abortion? So I'm asking you to make a sign, stick it up in front of the Planned Parenthood. This one says, Yah forgives all sin if you stop. Yah created you. Let him continue to create people. So they're stopping what Yah has ordained. Yah has ordained people to be born, but Planned Parenthood thinks they have the authority to stop what Yahweh has ordained. And um, that's, not, that's not how Yahweh works. Um, so it's important that we do our part as Christians to stop this injustice. This is in the biggest this is going to be the biggest wrath upon America if we don't stop this. Now, in history, every time a nation killed its children, guess what happened? They were utterly destroyed. Utterly destroyed. And it doesn't matter if it's Yahweh's chosen children or not, because I'm just going to go through historically in the Bible all the times that a nation killed children and they were utterly destroyed. So we see with Pharaoh, he killed the children during Moses' time. His nation was utterly destroyed with the ten plagues. Okay, the next time we see this is with the northern kingdom of Israel. These are Yah's chosen people. They started sacrificing children to false gods. They were utterly destroyed by the Assyrians who were extremely brutal and they skinned people alive and stuck them on stakes. 
they did psychological warfare and it was horrible the way they destroyed uh so Yah does not put up with a nation that disrespects their children and, and he hates the shedding of innocent blood so it's important that we shut down these buildings and we we put up signs and we pray peacefully out front of them also we see that um babylon overtook the southern kingdom of judah and the same thing was happening they were sacrificing children to moloch and this is why they were destroyed we see king herod killing the children during yeshua's time that the city of jerusalem was overtaken by the romans in 70 a.d every time within 80 years of the killing of children the nation was utterly destroyed it's a it's a it's a he gives he gives a grace and mercy for us to repent but we've got to stop the abortion otherwise america will receive the wrath uh, most of the western nations of the world um, do uh, a child sacrifice which is abortion and it's interesting that in the end times um, what what Yahweh usually does is he uses a more righteous nation to correct the wicked nations of the earth he'll use a more righteous nation to correct the wicked and did you know in 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 the Middle East the Muslims do not allow abortion they don't drink alcohol um, they pray five times a day even though it's a false religion they seem to be a little bit more righteous uh, in some areas that are very important to Yahweh so he's gonna use these same nations it's interesting because the northern uh, Assyria was used to destroy Israel and this is going to happen at the end times. These uh, Middle Eastern nations are going to be come against Israel, which is all of the Americas, um, North America, South America, Central America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, all these nations that allow abortion. And he's going to punish them with these nations. And that's what he does. And history repeats itself. So if you're wise go to your nor go to your local Planned Parenthood and pray out there once a week for an hour if you save one child's life what a beautiful thing what a beautiful thing and you might even save their eternal life if they become a Christian so what a good thing to do to try to save a little child's life somebody might turn around I've seen people turn around that were going in for an abortion and at this place, and this is in Vista, California, they do chemical abortion, they do pills. This place will be shut down. We've been praying out of here, out in front of this place for eight years or longer. And Yahweh will shut this down. We don't know when, but it'll happen. And then uh, no longer will they uh, taint the lands, uh, taint the blood, taint the land with the, the innocent blood that they do here. And so it'll be a beautiful thing. And uh, so I encourage you to go to your local um, uh, Planned Parenthood or abortion clinic and pray out front of it. Put signs out front. Do it in a peaceful, loving way. We're here to help. These people have been brainwashed. They don't understand what they're doing is a sin and it comes with a death curse. And so we just want to say, hey, we're, you know, we just want to give you some more options. You know, this is a dangerous procedure. People can die from it. Uh, you might not ever able, be able to have a baby. Um, you know, many people go to the emergency room afterward and have permanent damage in their body. So this is not a safe procedure. And um, there is a place uh, that you can go and get help. Uh, in California, there's a place called the Lamb of God. And they help people. Uh, who want to have an adoption and they give them a place to live they have a house that they can stay at they have they'll pay their rent they'll help them go to school they'll help them pay uh, you know any bills if they want to keep the baby they'll help them buy food they're a very good uh, place and there's probably one in your neighborhood so I would look that up there's many pro-life uh, organizations all throughout and I would look them up and see how you can help out and uh, so let's not stand idly by while they're shedding innocent blood. Let's stop this atrocity, this genocide of killing over 3,000 people every, every two days. This is in America. This happens. And yet nobody really says anything. They just kind of ignore it. We don't want to ignore it. 
We don't want to do that. We want to pray for this to stop. So at the very least, I encourage you to go to your Planned Parenthood, have a sign, say adoption, not abortion. Um, we can, or have a sign that says, come, we'll pray for you. We can help you. Or just have a sign that's saying we can help you. And, you know, and, uh, and you'll see miracles happen. I, uh, I've seen many people turn around from getting abortions from this. And this is good. If you save one life... You did a great deed, and you've covered a multitude of your sins. So be righteous, be holy, and let's stop this atrocity. 50% of Americans don't agree with abortion. and More than 50% don't agree. I think it's like 70%. So we can overturn this. Uh, we can overturn this law, okay? More than 50% of the population does not agree with abortion. So we can overturn this law. We need somebody out there. We need somebody to help uh, organize something, put something together. And we need to do this. We need to work together as a team. This is what we do when there's something evil happening. And we need to stop this evil. And Yah will be very happy with you. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.